Okay, I'm going to show you the Google Chrome OS. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me about it, uh, what my opinion is on it. So, um, I'm going to give you the lowdown of it. It's um, basically, if you don't know what the deal is, um, Google's decided to go through and basically make their own operating system. Uh, in, currently intended for netbooks. Um, mobile browsing devices but it's mostly going to be just netbooks and it's supposed to be a very fast uh, operating system that's going to basically allow you to browse the web so I'm going to go ahead and show you the startup time for it remember this is running in a virtual machine so it's a little bit slower than um, it should be but the uh, startup times I hear um, for actual hardware is supposed to be something like five to ten seconds something like that it seems to be about that for uh, um, normal boot up off of my virtual machine here and that's not my email address by the way but um, one of the issues I've had with it is that um, in a virtual machine for some god unknown reason it will not um, log in <laughs> using their login thing because uh, <clears throat> for some reason it says I'm not connected to the internet but I obviously am as you can see so um, yeah that's pretty much it if you've used the Google Chrome browser then you know exactly what Chrome is it's just the Chrome browser turned into an operating system um, as you can see it looks exactly like Chrome because it is Chrome um, there's a couple extra things on here and I'm gonna basically show you those because there's nothing else I can show you a little swirly Chrome logo there is basically just some little jump shortcuts to some popular services YouTube Casa all that um, takes you right to the login page for um, Gmail if you got it you can log into there it doesn't give you any different features there uh, works exactly the same in Chrome OS as it does in Chrome as in Firefox or anything else um, tabs work the same the options uh, under here there was one that's a little bit different to create application shortcuts um, if I go through and do that it's supposed to go through and put it under some icons in here I think I need to check the other option uh, I think it was applications menu something like that anyway that's supposed to go through and actually display it under uh, this little kind of icon here uh, some people have said it does that as you can see it doesn't um, there is no desktop um, as soon as you get into the Chrome OS this is what you get just the browser you can't minimize it you can't really close it out you can kind of force it to close but it just opens it right back up um, that's it for the page menu the uh, general settings everything here is the same you go to options here and there's a couple things I've seen as interesting here uh, you got touchpad sensitivity um, that's definitely not in normal chrome browser but uh, it's interesting to see that it is there tap to click vertical edge scrolling stuff um, which I'm surprised they didn't take um, from Apple you know you can do the two finger scrolling thing so I'm surprised they haven't even bothered to innovate with that um, basic stuff that's the same there home page same there default search there now something I do find interesting is default browser why this even exists here is kinda of beyond me considering Chrome OS is nothing but the Chrome browser it almost makes it seem like they might add the ability to do a different browser but then it's not gonna be Chrome OS it's gonna be Firefox OS or whatever just seems weird to me. It's probably a feature they just haven't turned off yet. You know, standard form fill stuff, browsing data. Uh, they do have 
themes here, but I haven't noticed a difference there. Under the hood, um, again, pretty much the same stuff. Interesting thing I've seen here, download location. And if you hit this little down arrow, it can be a little glitchy. Oh, did it just... Okay. <laughs> Given this is still a beta, geez, that's laggy there. Um, you basically can choose other locations. And the process of hitting that, you can see um, other parts of the file system in here. And if you're used to Linux, you will obviously see several of these things look very, very familiar. That's because they are. It is Linux. It's basically just Chrome OS running on a modified version of Linux. And uh, that's really it as far as settings. Everything else is the same. Um, other options here, you got your battery meter, which would be that little thing there. Uh, it's supposed to be a plug. I click on it, tells me battery is 0% considering this is a virtual machine. Wi-Fi, you can turn it on, off, Ethernet, same thing. This little thing here, this little drop-down arrow. Uh, this is basically some of the same things you'd see under like the um, little wrench normally in um, Chrome. You know, another incognito window. You got that, but then you know you close them all out and you switch to it. It, I'm not really too impressed with that. Clear browsing data, yada yada yada. And then options just takes you to the same place we already were. Um, some key things you're going to notice if I double click on my date and time. There we go. This takes me here. I can't change the date and time in the operating system yet. Um, there is no shutdown option again this is a beta piece of software so they'll eventually add it but I'm kinda find it interesting that they've kind of announced this thing and having added a shutdown feature um, so the only way I can power it off is just to hit the shutdown button on my virtual machine but yeah that's uh, Chrome OS uh, save yourself the trouble if you're looking at trying to evaluate it at the meantime just download the Chrome browser, play with that, it's the same thing at the moment. Uh, works exactly the same. Uh, the only thing is they've added a couple little features, which is everything I've shown you there. And I wouldn't really call them features. Uh, the whole Chrome OS, like I said, the whole point is to have a netbook that just browses the web. Uh, there will be no physical applications so to say on the system uh, they will be trying to make offline web apps um, which in my opinion there isn't really much of a point to uh, sure you might be able to have like Google Docs offline uh, let's say they do that um, so I assume the next time you connect to the internet it's going to synchronize your documents up but I don't really see much of a benefit of getting a uh, Chrome OS enabled device so to say um, when you go out and get a normal netbook running uh, Windows 7 I can put on their software I want yeah it'll run it a little slow because it's a netbook but I can just put on there wherever I want and I can synchronize it at my own leisure so um, I'd get more functionality out of a normal netbook versus any Chrome OS device so I don't think I would ever bother with Chrome OS it just seems like a gimmick to me and uh, as I was saying it is a Linux kernel so um, I actually had to go through and set the guest OS to be Linux uh, so VMware could actually present some of its devices to it in a correct way so well that's it um, if you do want to go through get Chrome OS there's uh, 
I think it's Engadget had a link to the virtual machine. I just downloaded it from them because I honestly don't have the time to go through and build my own virtual machine for it. Virtual machine disk, that is. Um, but that's it. And uh, if you got any questions, feel free to post them. And until next time, I'll see you later.